time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, July 2nd. A lot of green, my friends, a lot of green on the board. S&P up 24, NASDAQ up 182, Russell up 5, Dow up 120. Gold a little bit red, silver a little bit green, notes and bonds green, 10-year yield down about 1%, oil down about a half percent, natty gas down about one and a half. Soybeans and corn, a little bit green. Wheat down 1%. Euro and the pound, slightly green. Bitcoin down 1.5%. VIX down 3%, 11.86. Yeah. Uh, so I got I got uh, stopped out of my 1 DTE and my 2 DTE. I didn't do any morning 0 DTE iron condors. or They would have been stopped as well. Uh, let's see. Got my two rut hedges on. And then the only other thing, um, as far as that goes, is my PM Iron Condor, which I'm on the 5,500 straddle, two to one puts to calls. That one's up about 11%. I turned off my up day power hour because the strikes were going to go inverted. So this is it for me. I will, uh, I'll talk about my transformer stuff here in a minute. But Chad, what about you? Chadwick, come in, Chad. There we go. I got keep forgetting sometimes I, I got to unmute my mic and then I got to unmute the Zoom. Um, yeah, I put on the one DTE and right after, shortly after I did it, I realized that I accidentally skewed it to where it was had room to the downside, and so I immediately didn't like it. But I kind of thought, okay, I'll just I'll roll with it, and. Uh, Roll with it for a few hours and um, it, it got out of whack really quick. And on the pullback that happened, let's see, I just discretionarily got out of it because I didn't like it, first of all. And on the pullback, I got it back down to about break even. So at 11.07 Central is when I just decided that. I was like, if this, if this, it just pulled back as if it rips up again, it's, just going to be way out of whack. And I just kind of had, didn't like the price action and how I had put it on. So I closed that out just for, um, ended up being a $300 winner. Um, so really shouldn't have been. Um, but I had some, had some, had some intuition on just decided to close it. And then, uh, AM number one book 20, 40% and then got stopped on my last two contracts. AM number two, book 20, 40%, and then stopped on my last two contracts there as well. Um, and so the only thing I'm in is I, I took a discretionary WUGA at, uh, what time was it? At 141. I know that's a little bit early, but I got filled at 405. So I decided to do that rather than put on a power hour trade. Um Currently up three thousand one hundred forty-five dollars in my TLC with those two winners, um, and then a little plus three hundred in my one DTE, and so just didn't want to have a power hour trade here with such tight premiums. Pretty um, good for to, basically a two standard deviation move like we've had today. Yeah, and so my my time for putting on the let's see, I put my first. TLC on at 1030 central. So would have been on uh, when it was kind of 
was kind of consolidating up there at the top. Um, before it started to move down, then when it moved down against me, um, let's see at 10, when I put on the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. My first one I put on at 926. I'm sorry. So would have been, I knew something wasn't right there. So just chopping out of the gates, right? And so when it moved, when it moved up at 1032 is when I put that second one on and then it came back down. So what do you, what do you think happens when it comes back down? That first one I booked 20%, 40%. And then when it started to push back up, I started booking 20%, 40% on my second one. And uh, then they eventually both end up getting stopped out. But yeah. So good timing there with getting in at 930 and then the up, the down, the up, exactly what I needed for those two trades. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, Elliot, I am um, not doing my normal morning or reentry iron condors at this point. Just going to be focused more on... Price action. I, I talked a little, I don't know if you saw my July trade plan video, but basically I'm just going to be focused on transformers and doing a little price action iron condors, taking half off and transforming the rest. So that's what I've been doing. So I've been pretty busy on transformer stuff today. So I got, uh, so this one was, so when we started to chop a little bit after that first push, I got in, but I, but I only got filled on two contracts. So I went ahead and closed one at 20% and then transformed the other one into an upside risk free condor. So I'm in max profit area for that one. I did a, a second one DTE trade and then I um, transformed this one live during our transformer class into another upside condor. So assuming this stays above 54.90 tomorrow, I'll hit max profit on that one. My uh, two DTE from yesterday was just a one lot. Did a uh, double, double condor on that one. And so I need above 55.05 tomorrow for that one to hit. And then did a bunch of stuff in NDX today. So I did a bunch of uh, unbalanced condors. So did this one here, transformed it into that. Those are way down low, pretty much out of play. Did this one here, transformed to that. So if we, if NDX can get back down about 20 points, we've got a shot at a max profit there. That's good for about 3,000. And then I did another one here. Transformed into this, so I'm in prices sitting right at my max profit on that one. And I've got another one I'm working right now, but if so, all these together. Here's here's the here's the cool part. When you put all these together, by the way, this was in a couple different accounts, but this is all of them. So if I can uh, hit anywhere between like forty. About you know fifty and two thousand in NDX, I'll hit a nice nice profit peak there. So that is it. My uh, my update iron condor is up about eight percent. Fifty five hundred is my straddle price on that one. Oh, the good old days, Morrow. Back when that intro first came out, those were the days.
Oh, a couple of, I did my, uh, I did that, uh, unbalanced condor yesterday at the close, which will end up being a loser. Unless we have a big down move by chance. That's not it. Oh, wrong account. This one here, I did a three lot. Never had a chance to transform that one, so that'll be about a $150 loser. Most likely. Unless we get a big down move here. I was hoping we'd have an update so I could do my three tranche update power hour, but just no premiums. Not enough premium for me. SPX up point six six percent from the open. Yeah, definitely not using Trade Steward as much. I'm still going to uh just for just for ease of use, I've got uh I've got my price action iron condor criteria all set up. And so instead of putting it on and doing the OCOs and all that, I can just hit the play button and and get that one fired and then decide if I want to scale out or transform it or whatever. So still using it, but yeah, definitely not as much. And then I've got, I've still got some trades, like when power hour qualifies, I'll use it. This PM iron, uh, this PM iron condor, my rut hedges, my one and two DTE, I'll still use it. So I'll still use it a little bit, but definitely not as much. And by the way, I'm just, this is kind of my focus for July. I'll, I'll be getting back into some more back test slash time, time, uh, based entries. I just wanted to kind of take this month to really focus focus in on some of the transformer stuff. Little pull back. Got this one here that I'm trying to transform still. It's getting close. And a little bit more down movement. Straighten it about. Eight, eight or nine, eight, nine bucks. I need six forty. So I need NDX to come down a little bit. It starts to bounce again. I may just close it. My uh, Wuga was built at 405. I need 
two bucks. It's currently at three thirty. The ninety five butterfly currently trading. Oh, well, it's bounced now, but it was up to about a dollar forty or so. Might be able to get into a Mahomes. More than ten minutes before the bell today. If we don't if we stay uh if we stay calm. Seems like around this time at the money flies, we're still only trading for around a buck. All the way up to a buck thirty, buck forty already. VIX getting close to new post COVID lows. We had that push down to 11.52 back in May. Currently 11.87. No fear. No fear out there, my friends. All is well. NASDAQ, did it hit 20,000 again? High of 19,993. 19,994. High in, in all time high in NDX, 20,017. <laughs> Something. Yeah, NQs at 20,222. SPX all time high 5523. It's a few points away from 5,500. Trying to decide do I want to close this one or see if it hits? We come down just a little bit more, it'll hit, it'll transform. Need about a 10 or 15 point move lower in NDX. Come on down. Creep on down there. SPX, you can stay up if you want. I just need NDX down. Holding its premium pretty good right now. Price hasn't really moved anywhere. My Wuga is not... Has it moved anywhere in terms of price? Okay. 
My PM iron condor up day still up about 7%. You just get this NDX down about six points it should fill. 19970. I think would do it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to trade a few things early. Try to get some more transformers on for a potential noon pin. I won't do, uh, I'm not going to do anything. I don't think I'll do any at the open, but I'll wait to see how things open up and try to try to see if I can catch a little pocket of consolidation, one or two. No calendars. Yeah, just iron condors or skewed iron condors. No, don't need to bounce yet. Yeah. I'm just going to scratch this thing. We get a quick bounce. I could be down, down a thousand bucks quickly. All right. Close it out for a small profit. All right, so that one didn't transform. I'm afraid we're going to bounce here. My uh, PM Iron Condor now up 20%. So at 40%, I will set my stop loss down to four on this. I will be closing it early if, uh, as soon as Mahomes is ready to play though. Forget my strikes.
Wooga about 22%. NDX gave me a little head fake. Now it's coming back down. One of my red hedges is up about 380. One for tomorrow is going to need to move. Up 15 or down 20. UVXY. I started with five. I took three off after we got to 50% of max. I'm just going to let these remaining couple go until Friday. Friday or Monday. A little bounce in gold, need a little pullback in oil. Need a little bounce in SPX. So ideally an NDX anywhere between 970 and 950 would be max. Be a max profit. Yeah, it's holding its premium pretty good. For my SPX transformers, I just need price to stay above fifty four ninety five.
Let me try to add a little upside. Upside vertical in uh, NDX here. Try to add to my add to my stack. NDX can get a push back up to 20,000. Update Iron Condors up about 22%. Well, whatever anyone did during power hour should be doing a okay. SPX trying to crack 5,500 for the day. It's ticked it a couple times. I want to thank everyone for talking me into the $8 stop on my one DTE stopped out on my first try. So I appreciate that. Oh man. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Today was pretty ridiculous. Just after that first big pullback. I kept thinking when it, Pushed up and it kept pulling back a little bit, pushed up, pulled back a little bit. I was like, oh, that may have saved me today. Moving from six to eight may have saved me and then just took off. Yeah, just kept going. I, I, I no doubt would have left mine on if I wouldn't have accidentally skewed it to the upside when I opened it. Uh, check my trade plan, Ryan. The updated um, July sheet has the has the link. Update I see at thirty percent. Once it gets to forty percent, I will reduce my stop. In fact, it may be getting close to. See where the butterfly is trading. It's about a buck sixty already. Let me just close my 
ratio iron condor at 40 <clears> percent <throat> to make room for my butterfly SPX is not quite ticking over 5,500. Yeah, I can stay below there. Barely ticked over a couple times earlier, but. Just test in the waters. Test, 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 and then probably explode. There it is. Pushed over 5,500 for now. Ratio iron condor at about 34%. Now it needs to come back down for the wooga. About 30 minutes till the bell. Better turn on my financial juice voice, voice activator for the MOC in 20 minutes. Once I start seeing the at the money butterflies getting towards a dollar eighty, I'm gonna close out my update iron condor to free up those strikes. It's currently at about one sixty. It's about to get to forty percent, thirty eight.
There it is, 40%. So reducing my stop. 12 to 4. Yeah. NDX, are you going to make a push or no? Are you done? Acting a little bit weaker than SPX now. After being stronger all day. All right, I'm starting to see some 80 ticks. I'm going to go ahead and close out my iron condor, my ratio, my update iron condor. I'm also going to I'm just going to close out that vertical. All right, took a small profit out of that NDX vertical, but I don't want to wait to fly it off because I got, I got to focus, 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 focus.
All right, so I got my 5500 and my 5505 butterflies working. Need NDX not to get frisky. Go too high. I'd prefer it between 950 and 970. Yeah, my Wooga's, uh, need two bucks. It's currently at 285. Need some down movement. 5,500 butterflies getting awfully close to two bucks already. With over 20 minutes to the bell. Let's go ahead and just lock it in early. Why not? Give Mahomes 20 minutes. You know what Mahomes can do in 20 minutes? I need price just to come down and hover right at 5,500 per minute. Should be filling. It's close. There's not enough premium ale Piero for tomorrow because of the half day. Let me see if I get filled here. I'll and I'll show you what I mean. I did put one on for Friday's expiration already. I'll show you too. Sitting right at 5,500. It's sitting right at two bucks. Anybody get filled on a 5,500 fly yet? Hmm. So close. So close. Still no fill. That's it. Come keep coming down a little bit. NVIDIA's fallen. Bring it all down, NVIDIA.
Yeah. Tesla, what a beast today. Shot yeah. up about 5% pre-market, gave another four and a half, five percent after the market opened. Yeah, I almost got into an upside continuation runner in that today, this morning, but missed it. Mm. Did not fill my 5,500 yet. I thought I was going to get a fill with 20 minutes to go. All right, well, while we're waiting for that, to your question, El Piero, here's what I did for, uh, I put this on the Friday, Friday's expiration. Oops, not that one. July 3rd. I don't know. No, 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 no. Sorry, wrong account. There it is, July 5th. So I just did this, just a just a broken wing, kind of skewed iron condor. Got a little bit of risk to the downside. Range up to 54, 45 to the upside. So I was just hoping to get some decay the rest of today, but it's actually pumped some premium in and then look, hoping to get some more decay tomorrow and for prices to stay pretty steady, but we'll see. So if you try to look at anything for tomorrow, there's just, there's just not enough premium. Okay, it's still tapping my $2 order, but not filling. Less than 15 minutes to go. Just not going to give it to me, are you? There we go. Filled. All right, now we can move away. We're going to need some down movement. I'm back down to like 96. NDX coming down a little bit for me.
Yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like it wants to go higher still. Man, come down to 5,500. That might hit me. That's not asking too much. Two points. So if we get up to 5,500 right now, it'll probably need to go closer to Excuse me, if we get up to 5505, it'll probably need to go to maybe 5506-ish almost to fill the vertical spread since we have so much time left, I would assume. Still some value out there in the options. Uh, Wuga's got four minutes. Three minutes. Getting a little bounce and VIX. Come on and drop, baby. Do what you know you can do with the Wooga. Yes, keep going. <laughs> it's a 247. Oh, it just went to 185? What? 1.1 billion to the sell side. I think is what it said. Oh, yeah. There is profit target for the Wooga. 50%. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Yeah. 1.1 billion sell side. Ah, that push down was so nice. Just push down and ticked your profit target. Yep. I actually saw I had it set at two dollars. I actually saw it hit a buck eighty five on that drop. I did two I, minutes. I, I forgot two to minutes give the warning. The bell. Oh yeah, sorry I got excited. <laughs> no worries. I gotta I got to just say something when the MOC number is about to come out because I'm listening to it. I'm listening for it, but I forgot. I mean, that's been the biggest red bar since an hour and a half ago, so I was excited. <laughs> All right. Need to move away from 5,500, please. I don't care which direction. Just need a five point move. I was, uh, I've been stopping at this little park on the way to, uh, into the office in the mornings, and I was just uh, doing a little nice, easy jog and started to walk. And then someone passed me. There's Chad trucking past me. So I, he had his headphones in. I, Went up and gave him a little forearm shiver. I thought he was going to throw down with me. <laughs> you're, at, you're lucky I didn't pull my firearm. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely surprised me. 
<laughs> I was like, is that Chad? No, no, we didn't. We didn't know each other were going to be there. I actually ran by him. I just, there was a guy in a blue shirt and I didn't, you know, I had my sunglasses on and headphones in. I didn't even look. All right, couple more points. Give us a push. My verticals, my $4 credit spreads trading at about three, three bucks. I need four bucks. Still have seven minutes to go. 350, 360. Three seventy five. One more little push. NDX creeping back up. I don't need NDX up. I don't think I can have both. Oh, madam, you're on the 5505s and the 5500 or just the 5505s? Rip up like 20 points, man. Might have some longs become valuable. Close yeah, to hit my vertical. It's tapping. Thank God, thank God for that pullback. One more little bounce. Five minutes till the bell. Come on, you can get you can get all time highs. Nasdaq trying to push twenty thousand. Fifty five twenty three. You can do it. I was so close to hitting my vertical. Three ninety five, four bucks filled. Very nice. Mahomes locked and loaded. Go to go to twenty three. Come on, all time highs. Keep going. I wouldn't mind a crash now. Back down to about ninety five. I mean, this is about the time that we usually are getting filled on our Mahomes. Oh, Curtis, did you get in the 05s for two and a half bucks? Or are you just saying that's what it was trading at? Let's get the devil whipsaw going down to 95, below 95. A 
I've only had the double whip saw happen twice. Two minutes to go. So you can get you can get fifty five oh fifty five twenty. Nasdaq over twenty thousand. That's not doing good for my transformers. It's not what I was hoping for. Below two thousand will still be good for a couple thousand. But it doesn't look like it wants to do that. You O fives getting close to your verticals filling should be. Oh, you got locked in, Lando. Nice. Boy, it barely didn't even get five points. Thirty seconds. Mm, I was so close to a big, big payout on my NDX. <clears throat> now it looks like it might hit minimum profit. My home's good for two thousand. There's the bell. 5509.04. Ed, you locked in both the 5500 and 05. Nice. Both locked. Beautiful. All right. Good stuff. So no, uh, no live streams till next Monday. Tomorrow half day. Thursday market closed. Out on Friday. So we will be back on Monday. Have a great, safe 4th of July, everyone. Talk to you soon.